DC and, and Dave Zaka, he saved me again. <laughs> uh, this is his girlfriend. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, so it's really bad, bad outside. Uh, as you can see here. But uh, actually, my gym is closed, so we're going to uh, Dave's gym. So, see you soon. Okay, we're here with Dave Zaka. He's getting ready for the 2014 Equinox in Columbia, Maryland. And David, uh, I heard that you have some pain in your hips, so you can't do sumo deadlifts right now. So, yeah. what are you what are you trying to remedy to uh, for that? I'm just stretching a lot. That's it. I'm resting. I'm gonna sumo pull maybe every two weeks to get my pulls in and use conventional in the meantime. That's it. Okay. So, how how are you feeling uh, toward the meet? Good. I think I'll do pretty well. I got my workout partner over here pushing me. Uh, Der Derek, right there. What's up? Oh, but he doesn't have the proper shoes on. <laughs> but, but anyways, uh, so we have uh, Dave Zaka getting ready for the meet. Uh, any last words? Uh, no, just lift heavy and that's it. Eat, okay. eat well, rest well. That's All right. It. Dave Zaka, 405 for reps. He has the neon green Romaleos SBDs. 2014 Equinox. Nice. Up, good. Bye. Easy. One more. Up, good. Really fast. Up. Up. Tight. Four. Come on, two more. Two more. Good, up, easy. Last one. Up. Good. Ah. How's that set, David? Huh? How's that set? That's good. He moves well. Yeah, you could have done probably two more reps with that. Yeah. Definitely. I like to think. Okay, this is a uh, Yupol. Uh, what uh, fellow Korean? Most, most aesthetic person at the gym, so what do you have to say? I'm honored, thank you, to be in your <laughs> presence. <laughs> thank you. Derek's David's training partner. He's gonna go for 3.30 or six reps. No shoes on. Come on. Derek, you gotta do this for YouTube. Good. Better. Come on. Get up. Attack it. Come on. Come on. Breathe. Up. Up. Let's go. Come on. Good. Get the get your breath. There you go. Up. Get up. Good. 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 Two Got two more. more. Two more to go. You got one more. You got one more. Squeeze it out. Grind it. Grind it. Come on, let's go. Push. Up. Push. You got it. Push. Come on. Derek, how, how do you feel about that set? At 10 effort. No reps left in the tank. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Woo! <laughs> Dave Zaka, second set of four or five. Go. Come on, attack it. Come on, faster than that. I'm on. Come on. Up, oh, good. That was better. That was better. Up. Up. That was okay. That was okay. Do a little faster. Three more. 
Come on. Okay, two more. Two more. Up. Go. Okay. Two more. Last one, perfect. Up, come on. Nice. How's that? That was a little worse than the, the first one. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. tougher. I'm eating a little less. So I feel really strong in my first set. But the subsequent sets, usually my energy level goes down. Just trying not to get too heavy. And I feel good on the first one. I'm happy. Good, Derek. Much better. Good. Get that breath. Get that breath. There you go. Much better. Up. Good. Good. It's better. It's better. Get that breath. Good. Much better. Much better. Good. 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 Come on. Up, up, good, up, up. good. Good, you're doing well. Seth's looking much better. Come on. Up, explode. Up. Good. Get up, get up. Get up. Good. good. Got one left, got one left. You're good. There you go. Up, 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 up. Yeah. You got it. Nice. Good shit. What was that? Nice. So how's that? Eric. So you changed your uh, breathing technique. Yeah. So it's much better, right? Much a easier. Better. Yeah. A lot better. Yeah. A lot smoother. Yeah. Take a deeper breath. That's good. That, that looks a lot better. Real good. Better. Makes a world of difference. Yeah. Almost winded now. Oh, it's, it's Bob. Yeah, he, what's up? he showed up to the uh, to the <laughs> gym. So uh, actually, our gym Rockwell Fitness is closed. So you know we had to find another alternative, and, and now we're here. The snow can't stop training, man. Yeah. Gotta find a way. Definitely. Gotta find a way. Okay, so we're in the other uh, portion of the gym, and it's actually pretty serious. It, it has all rope racks and bars and uh, whatnot, but let's take a look at the weight. See, a 10 pound. It's a shake weight, right? So stay tuned. Awesome. Dave Zaka, we're uh, at Chipotle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what did you get? What did I get? Uh, rice, chicken, steak, salsa, hot sauce, sour cream, and extra cheese. Uh, so, do the French like a lot of dairy stuff? I do. You do? <laughs> okay, yeah. So, we're French like cheese. Yes. Uh, see, so yeah, well, I got here um, extra chicken, extra steak, extra rice, white rice. Fajita vegetables, uh, tomato salsa, black beans, uh, the corn salsa, and lettuce. So you gonna eat all of it? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. All right, so so Dave Zaka. Yes. So what do you think about people who push themselves really hard in the gym, and they're only doing the the main movements and they're lifting really hard, but they don't compete. So, uh, but well, what what do you think? about those people and 
Can they push themselves far? I don't think that uh, personally, before I thought about competing, I wanted to move big weights and I was working out seriously, but I, I never thought that I would have the goals that I have now. So now I'm starting to compete and the weights that I plan on moving in the future, it's gonna take a long time, but the weights I wanna move down the line, they're not anything close to what I thought before I was gonna uh, compete. They're not weights that I thought I would ever start lifting and moving. So I think you can train hard if you're not competing, but you can't train as hard as someone who has who's going to compete and have huge goals. Right, because there's another degree of accountability when you're going to a competition. Right, right. And uh, the goals that you set when you have a competition, um, they're a lot more important than, you can set a goal in the gym, but there's no time limit to reach it. When you have a competition, you want to hit a certain goal in a certain amount of time. And when you get there, you set another goal and you keep on going like that. When you're not uh, competing, you can't do that. You just set a goal and then however long it takes. Uh, so do you, think, do you think the strongest powerlifters are on the platform or uh, they're still yet undiscovered? I think they're definitely on the platform. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But not, not just because there's strong people everywhere. There's people who are really strong and have potential to be great powerlifters. Actually, powerlift and work on your technique as a powerlifter, um, your lifts automatic, automatically go up. When I didn't compete, I didn't think about my technique the way I do now. Now I, I think about adjusting my technique so I can lift even more. I didn't do that before. I was just trying to lift the weight up. Or right. Down, whatever. Yeah, but the so, key is to lift it efficiently. Right. So I didn't get the most out of my technique. Now I think about those things. Because I'm gonna compete, because I wanna lift the most weight. Oh shit. And uh ooh. Fuck. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. That's it really. Wise wise words from Dayzaka. <laughs>